Good morning children today we shall learn about what is time as we saw in the last video sona a child just like you does so many things in a given day but different things are done at different times like sona does her homework and play with friends during the day time and during the night time she goes to sleep so what is day time or night time well we know the sun rises in the east slowly the sunlight fills the sky with bright yellow light we call it morning and then when the sun sets in the west we call it evening the time between sunrise and sunset is the day time we do most of the activities during the day time when all of us are awake and the sun is shining brightly after sunset it becomes dark as the sun is no longer visible the time between sunset and the sunrise of the next day is the night time we see twinkling stars and the bright moon in the sky and it is also the time to sleep after a long day of work and play so now let us see what all activities sona did in that video during the day time she went to school during the day time just like all of you her favorite drawing time in school was also during the day time after coming home from school she played with friends during the day time and when did she go to bed to sleep it was night time so you know a day which includes both the day time and night time has 24 hours but still many children may feel they hardly find time for their friends or cartoons if we make a daily routine like sona we would be able to see our favorite cartoons play with our friends and finish all the important tasks like homework in time we just need to know about time to make our routine now let me tell you a riddle what has two hands and a face but no arms and no legs it is a clock <laughs> what is the use of clock it shows us time let us see how the clock shows us the time you may think what is the need of clock when you can know whether it is day time or night time just by seeing the sky well if you don't know how to read time in the clock you may get late for the school you may go in afternoon or you may miss your favorite cartoon show on tv which comes on exact time of the day you may face lot of other problems so knowing how to read a clock is very important so let us understand the clock in detail now a clock has two hands and the face of a clock is called the dial which is in a shape of a circle now you may ask what are the different numbers written on the clock the dial of the clock is divided into 12 equal parts see the numbers are written from 1 to 12 i may be wondering why only 12 parts why not 11 or 13 parts we know a day consists of 24 hours for simplicity we divide equal time for day time and night time so 12 hours for the day time and 12 hours for the night time hence the clock has 12 equal parts remember the hands of the clock 
always move in the forward direction say from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and so on. It doesn't move in the backward direction. And the same clock can show you the time during day as well as night. Hmm, confuse? Let's take some example. Let us see the two hands of the clock. Unlike we human beings, the clock two hands are of different size. One is a long hand and one is short. The shorter one is called the hour hand and the longer one is called the minute hand. But now let us try to read time. In the clock shown above, what time is it? The long hand or the minute hand points at 12. And the shorter hand, which is the hour hand, is pointing to 7. So it is 7 o'clock. How? The longer hand, that is the minute hand, is pointing to 12. And the hour is shown by the shorter hand. As the shorter hand points at 7, it is called as 7 o'clock. Look at what time Sona took her dinner. The long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 7. So it's 7 o'clock and yes, it's Sona's dinner time. And how do we know it's 7 o'clock night dinner time and it's not 7 o'clock morning breakfast time? Hmm, it's very simple. If Sona looks outside and the sun is not there, it is 7 o'clock night time, that is dinner time. And if Sona looks outside and the sun is there, it is 7 o'clock morning breakfast time. Understood kids? When did Sona get up in the morning? See the clock? The long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 6. So Sona got up at 6 o'clock in the morning. When did Sona reach the bus stop? The long hand is at 12 and the short hand it is 7. So Sona was at the bus stop at 7 o'clock. When did Sona's school start? See the clock? The long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 8. Sona's school started at 8 o'clock in the morning. When was the breakfast time in the school? See the clock? The long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 10. So it's 10 o'clock which is a short break time for breakfast. You know Sona loves to draw. See the clock. What time she is doing the drawing? The long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 11. So it's 11 o'clock, Sona's favorite time in school, the drawing time. And what time the lunch started? See the clock. Long hand is at 12. But where is the short hand? I can't see it. The short hand, that is the R hand, is also at 12. You can't see it, just behind the long hand. So 12 o'clock and 12 o'clock is a lunch time for Sona with her friends. At 2 o'clock she came back home. Starting from 3 o'clock Sona did her homework for an hour. See the long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 3. And what about play time? See the clock? The long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 4. So Sona started playing at 4 o'clock. 7 o'clock she took her dinner. At 9 o'clock she brushed her teeth and went to bed. Now you know Sona goes to play with friends at 4 o'clock. See the clock right now. Is it 4 o'clock? Let's find out. The long hand is at 12, which is good. Short hand is at 
थ्री सो इट्स थ्री ओ क्लॉक नॉट फोर ओ क्लॉक इट्स नॉट येट द प्ले टाइम फॉर सोना दिस इज फोर ओ क्लॉक द मिनिट हैंड और द लॉन्गर हैंड इज एट ट्वेल्व एंड द शॉर्टर हैंड पॉइंट एट फोर सो इट इज फोर ओ क्लॉक द प्ले टाइम फॉर सोना नाउ डज द मिनिट हैंड ऑलवेज स्टेस एट ट्वेल्व नो इट ऑल्सो मूव्स we will look at that in the next video till then have fun and do all your activities in the day according to time because time is very precious once gone it never comes back so utilize your time properly bye bye children